Oh my god, this is hectic, but we will have done this solo, which is a cool thing. I doubt these guys chase me up this river. And that dude's on level 12. It's when your ship rank up to 12. These two must be friendly.
I just need to get over here. And there we go. That's all one of them legendary thingy jigs down the bottom. Legendary treasures. Done solo. Legendary heist completed. Solo. That was a tough storm. No bleeding storm or thing can get you back here. So Yamita showing you how to swim, eh? And we are in deep now, Captain. Now that we're back, I'll show you what I'm working with ship wise they got it done as you can see brigantine super fast but it gets the job done it's a little on the weaker side but it's all good up the front or on the bow I've got Skurlock's long nines Master Breaker deals 7,000 damage after the Torn Sail effect is implied. You get Piercing 3, which adds 30% damage, as Piercing damage increases damage to weak points by 100%. All good stuff. Um, you've got Tearing 2, which is increased by 50% when hitting the sails. You know, perfect for the front of the boat. I don't have a second pair for the back of the boat yet. But that is my plan, is to run these front and back on my Brigantine. Um, port side or the left side of the boat, I'm just using the Flooding Demi Cannons 3, because it's all I've got. I really like these, I would like to get the Zemazams or whatever they are. I'll get them as soon as I can, and that's what I'm going to be using here, instead of these ones, but... <laughs> Adds 20% damage as flooding damage. It's always good. Uh, starboard side, or the right, we are using the fiber bar trees. Again, all I've got, best I've got. Probably wouldn't change these unless one of the others is uh, better that I haven't unlocked yet through the kingpin and pieces of eight and stuff like that, but time will tell but gives you explosion two add 20 cent damage damage as explosion damage in a 35 meter radius also adds 10 percent burning damage which this does proc the ablaze effect fairly quickly that's why i like to use them um on the back i just have the fire long guns level 3 which is giving you another 20% damage as piercing damage increases to 75% on weak points so nowhere near as good as the long nines or uh, Skurlox long nines but I definitely would change these to Skurlox long nines once I get them as you can see like there these are just way better you're getting 100% damage to weak points 30% damage as piercing where these are only doing 20 and 75 so obviously the better choice and my auxiliary I don't have the Leopold 3 yet but I will do the same thing as I've said before I will change to the Leopold 3 once I get it but it adds 20% damage as flooding damage 15% damage as explosion damage in a 50 meter radius so you're getting flooding you're getting explosion really good I am a terrible shot with the rockets otherwise I would use the rockets but definitely like the uh, the Leopolds I'll, I'll get the third for sure once I get it armor I am using 
the Royal Custodian. You're getting 24% explosion, Fifth, uh, 12 to flooding, 12 to fire, 30 to piercing, and it applies fortified effect for 12 seconds after you use a repair kit, which is just an armor increase. 35% it does make a great deal. Now, for furniture wise, it's totally your choice, but this is just what I've got on mine right now. So, yes, um, extra 19% damage, always handy. We've got the long guns on the front and back. Um, really, this is just a placeholder because I was still trying to figure out how to do all this. I didn't know what else to put there for now. Um, Scrapper Station is highly recommended. I feel like if you're running solo to get that 8%, 8,000 health after a crew attack, it's really, really handy. That's also why I'm using spiked warhorn because this increases your charge rate for your crew attacks which you need to get this 8000 health back more often um, extra 10% crew attack damage does help a little but again I just threw this on because I was doing all this extra crew work, so I was just taking the extra damage where I could. And I'm running the gunpowder bench because the bombards do quite efficiently set stuff ablaze, and this just increases that damage to enemy ships by an extra 10%. Which is always good, because when they're down in that last little smidgen of health, if they're already on fire, you don't have to worry about targeting that specific boat. They just burn. It's all good. I would change this. And I would change that. Probably to help the bombard would be a better option here. I just don't have it on right now. I don't know why I didn't. But it would be the option to change to. That's the mortar. Yeah, we could run those to the demi cannon. Instead, would be the better option there. And for here, instead of running crew attack damage, you could quite easily just run. I've got max stamina. If you're running fast, which you pretty much are, I could go with ramming damage because I am in the brigantine. But we're going to chuck the bombard extra 19% damage on there because that just makes sense and that's what we I'm using on this boat right now. But that's what I'm running with. And that's how I got a legendary heist done. I did change those things at the end there to make more sense, but that's what I was using and I did it solo, so really just have that crew health on. Make sure you're getting your crew attacks in all the time. You'll keep that health up and you won't have to use too many med kits. You'd be sweet as. Alright boys and girls, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.